hello my dear students welcome again to the class 7 uh, class so today i'm again here with the textual question and answers so in last class we did up to question number four so today we'll be writing question number five answer the following questions in detail number a write a note on epithelial tissue answer epithelial tissues are widespread throughout the body uh, full stop they forms the covering of the all the body surfaces comma line body cavities and the hollow organs comma and are the major tissues in glean full stop they perform a variety of functions that include protections comma secretions comma absorption comma excretion comma filtration comma diffusion and sensory reception full stop Number B, what are muscular tissues? Question mark. Explain the three types of muscular tissues. Answer, muscular tissue are the tissues that are present in the muscles of the body. Full stop, muscles contract and relax to bring about the movement of body parts in animals. Full stop, Roman number one, Escalatal muscles or striated muscles or voluntary muscles. Colon and test, these muscles are attached to the bones, hence, comma, they are called skeletal muscles. Full stop, they help in the movement of bones, comma, the cells are long and cylindrical, full stop, they have many nuclei, full stop, these muscles are voluntary in action, comma, that is, we can control their movement, full stop. Roman number two, smooth muscles or unstrated muscles or involuntary muscles. Colon and test, the cells are spindle sap, thin and elongated with a single large oval sap nucleus, full stop. Smooth muscles are found in inner layer of the digestive tract, comma, urinary bladder, comma, uterus and blood vessels, full stop. All smooth muscles are involuntary, full stop. We cannot control the muscles of our stomach or blood vessels. Uh, full stop. Next we will write Roman number 3. Cardiac muscles. Muscles specifically found in walls of the heart are called cardiac muscles. Full stop. There are special muscles that work non-stop without getting tired. Number C. Write a note on fibrous connective tissue. Full stop. Answer. Fibrous connective tissue is composed of parallel bundles of collagen fibers. Full stop. It is found in dermis, comma, tendons, comma, and ligaments and can also refer to as dense connective tissue full stop fibrous tissues packed and bind the organs full stop there are three types of fibrous connective tissue number one alloral tissue number two adipose tissue number three tendons and ligaments next question number d write a note on nerve tissues full stop describe the structure of a neuron with the help of a diagram answer nervous tissues as are made up of nerve cells called the neuron full stop neurons are grouped together in the form of bundles called nerves full stop nerves run through the body throughout the body forming a network now we'll draw the diagram and write down the next in detail a neuron consists of the following parts number one cyton uh, colon and desk, the cell body number two dendron finger like projection extending from the cell body full stop next number three dendrite colon and test branches of dendron full stop next number four axon colon and test uh, the longest extension from the cell body full stop so it'll draw the diagram uh, nicely and we'll color it uh, so uh, we'll go now to the next question number e write a note on fruit connective tissue Answer, fluid connective tissues have in transportation of nutrients and essential substances within the body. They can be further grouped into two types. Number one, blood, colon and desk. It consists of plasma in which three types of cells are found. Number A, red blood cells, RBCS or erythrocytes. They transport oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body. Next, number B, white blood cells, WBCS or leukocytes. They fight pathogens and other foreign substances full stop number c platelets or thrombocytes they help in clotting of blood full stop number two lymph it is a fluid that is present around the body cells full stop it is also called blood without rbcs 
full stop lymph fluid protects the body against any infection full stop next number f what are the different types of simple permanent tissues implants answer the different types of simple permanent tissues are number one protective tissue protective tissues are the one that helps in covering the surface of the leaves and the living cells of the stem and roots full stop next number two supporting tissues colon and this these tissues constitute the primary plant body or the bulk of the plants full stop this tissue is divided into three types we'll keep a test and we'll write down number a parenchyma this is found in all soft parts of the plants the intercellular space helps in the exchange of gases number b colenchyma they are found under the epidermis of the plants full stop these cells provide structural support and elasticity to the stem and leaves of the plants full stop next number c sclerenchyma colon and dust these are the dead cells with a very thick cell wall made of cellulose and lignin the function of sclerenchyma cells is to provide support and rigidity. Next, number G. Explain the complex permanent tissues of plants. Answer. Complex permanent tissues are made up of more than one type of cells. Full stop. These, all these cells coordinate to perform a common function. Full stop. They transport water, comma, salt, and prepared food materials to various parts of the plants. Full stop. Complex tissue are of two types. Xylem and phloem are also called the vascular tissues and together they constitute the vascular bundle. Full stop. Next question number 8. Describe the vascular tissues found in plants. Answer. The vascular tissues found in plants are number 1. Xylem. This tissue constitutes the waters and minerals from the roots upward and throughout the plants. Full stop. The main conducting vessels of xylem are the tracheids and the vessels. Tracheids are long, comma, thin tubes found in most vascular plants, comma, while vessels are large tubes found predominantly in angiosperm. Next, number two, phloem. This tissue transports the dissolved nutrients in all directions within the plants. Full stop. It is composed of the component cells and sieb tubes. It also contains fibers and parenchyma. Full stop. Both cell types have numerous pores through which the substance are exchanged with the adjacent cells. So, students, for today, up to here, in next class, I'll be giving you question number 6 and it will be the last answer. So, for today, up to here, Everyone, thank you. Everyone.